Welcome back to another cooking video. Having bought my new Philips air fryer, this is the HD9270. I've always wanted to roast a whole chicken in an air fryer. And I wonder how it would actually be effective or not. So, um, just bought this like two days ago. Uh, if you have not seen my unboxing video, uh, I'll link it up on the top right and you can watch that after this so today I am going to attempt to roast a whole chicken in this Philips Essential XL HD 9270 air fryer so it's a very simple recipe I don't want to make it very complicated I have got a whole chicken uh, this chicken is about 1.5 kilograms what I have done is I have um, spatchcock it so basically what it means is like the whole chicken turn it over on the spine on the backbone cut through the backbone so that it becomes flat so that gives a bigger area to be exposed to be roasted hopefully I get more uh, crisper skin and all I did is to uh, add some salt onto the skin uh, no other ingredients no other marinades um, because I want to see how crispy it can get so just the chicken and some salt on the skin uh, and of course the chicken is flat because I spatchcocked it um, cutting it through the spine alright so let's uh, start and we'll be using the auto menu with the air fryer so I don't know how effective that will be this is my second time using the air fryer only so that's the air fryer basket I'm going to try to zoom out make sure that um, everything is in the frame so chicken I'm just going to like remove some of this fluid I have not added any oil uh, I might put some oil on top of the skin uh, afterwards before roasting let me try to lay down the chicken first Trying to adjust the chicken to make sure it fits. Yeah, that looks quite good. So let me just try and show you. Tilting the camera down. So this is spatchcock. That means it's cut through the spine. So this is the breast breast area. So it's laid flat. So both sides of the skin is uh, exposed to the uh, top of the oven. Okay. So let's see how this thing works. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just wash my hands and I'll come back. Okay. Now um, I what I also did was to tuck the the wing uh, underneath so that the tips doesn't burn. I have just sprayed a little tiny bit of oil. Uh, the extra oil will actually flow down to the uh, inner basket. So let me just uh, put this in. So just before roasting. Okay. I uh, just want to make sure that the bird is actually at room temperature before you cook it. Only salt and a little spray of oil on top. Okay, let me just tighten this thing up. Alright, okay. there it goes. Let me just zoom in so that we can see the menu. Okay, let's see. I am going to be using auto so let me turn on and this is the auto menu so just going to touch that three bar at the moment this is frozen fries this would be freshly cut fries the third one would be chicken you can see the chicken drumstick now the rated auto cooking is uh, at 180 degrees celsius for 27 minutes now this is auto and I assume like this is only for chicken drumsticks. I'm going to use this and then see how it comes out. Uh, I might need to adjust this a little bit later but at the moment I'm just going to use the auto menu. So here we go. Let's start. Alright, so I will leave this. I'm not going to turn the chicken at all because I have already spatchcocked the chicken. I hope it gets cooked. Uh, I don't know. Never tried it before. Let's see how it turns out. Again, auto menu for chicken uh, a whole chicken which is at 1.5 kilograms uh, cut uh, split 
um, and cooking at 180 degrees Celsius for 27 minutes using the chicken auto menu. Okay, we'll come back at uh, about half an hour's time. It's now about the half minute mark. Um, it's at 14 minutes balance from 27, so this is about halfway. So I'm just going to open it, haven't opened it yet for the first time and see how it looks like at halfway. Okay, I'm just going to tilt the camera. Alright, so it looks quite puffed up and uh, it's not brown yet, uh, it's only halfway. So let's continue cooking. Alright, and I'll come back at the end of it. I missed the end of uh, the cooking cycle, so this is done. I haven't opened it yet, so let's uh, have a look at this. Okay, let me just uh, push the camera so you can see this. This is at 27 minutes at 180. This is the auto menu. And the wings are a little tiny bit brown. So is the thighs and the drumstick, uh, but it needs more browning. Maybe because it's a whole chicken. It looks fairly good. Smells really good too. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to like push it back in. I'm going to... Um, get it to 200 just to brown okay and then I'll give it like maybe um, 4 minutes just to brown the skin alright just start okay so after the 4 minutes browning I will come back and have a look Okay, end of uh, extra 4 minutes at 200. Let's see if this is any better. Okay, it's actually much better but it still needs a bit more time. So I'm going to like um, add another uh, maybe 5 minutes to 200 and then uh, come back after. And my last 5 minutes at 200 is up. Uh, I've not opened it yet, but uh, here it comes. Actually, the roast chicken looks pretty good. It's still hot. Uh, just finished. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to remove the roast chicken and let it rest for 5-10 minutes, I think. Just give me a second whilst I pull this thing out. Okay, it's still dripping with oil. There we go. Okay, uh, it looks quite good though, and let's see. You hear it? Let me move the camera nearer. very crispy so I'm gonna let it rest for 10 minutes um, so that the fluid and the heat can redistribute and then uh, we'll cut it and let's see so this is uh, inside the basket and you can see like um, well it's non-stick so this should be quite easy to clean let's see how much of oil there is underneath uh, I'm not sure but, uh, okay, it's still oil there is still oil dripping so, well, not too much of oil because I already trimmed the fattiest part of the chicken before roasting. Okay, so I'm going to just come back. Moment of truth. I have rested my chicken for 15 minutes. Let's see how well cooked it is. Let me move this aside. I basically have the whole chicken, about 1.5 kilograms spatchcock, that means I split it on the spine and unfolded it, uh, so it's still a whole piece of chicken. 
just slightly salted the skin uh, and just slightly sprayed the skin with some little bit of oil and use the automatic menu which roasted the chicken at 180 celsius for 27 minutes i think i added about eight minutes of uh, 200 degrees celsius roasting at the end because it wasn't brown enough so let's have a look and how cooked this is off the bat i can see like at least the thigh and the drumstick area this part is cooked um, the wings are still like crispy over here the skin is crispy and this is after like 15 minutes of resting so pretty okay let's see how cooked this is actually um, this part looks a bit dry but the uh, thigh area should always be alright okay so this is the chicken drumstick okay let's see if this is cooked okay so no no red spots it's all gray so this is like fairly cooked okay i'm i'm happy with uh, this amount of cooking but is it overcooked we don't know yet so let's look at the thigh let's see if the thigh can come off easily if the thigh can come off easily then it's a good sign that it's cooked well okay there's still a lot of fluid in here Well, it doesn't come off uh, very easily, but it's not like stiff um, and the internal portion looks Okay, no red Yep Very well cooked Okay, so the thigh, the internal thigh area is good Let's have a look at the breast meat I'm just going to cut through the breast meat I, I have an issue about eating um, not fully cooked chicken um, my stomach doesn't take it very well so the thickest part of the breast meat looks pretty cooked and looks pretty moist too so it's not like yeah it's very very moist in here as well so let's try let's try the breast meat first okay that's a part of the thickest part of the breast meat Still warm. Still very succulent and not dry at all. So the timing is almost okay. Um, I think some people may like it to be less cooked than this. Uh, for me, this is perfect because my stomach has got issues eating um, semi-cooked chicken. Breast meat is great. Let's try a bit of the skin. So this portion of the skin is of course like directly uh, under the heater. Mm. Still got a bit of crunch to it, so really good. Let's try the drumstick. Mm, this is actually just under the heater. And drumsticks, drumstick meat you never get dry anyway, so this should be quite good. really good really good and the timing um the timing is like protected by the drumstick so this should be quite good as well no sign of pink at all mm. just a tad under season but really good Okay, so let me just clear my throat. The whole, okay, this is not like free range or organic chicken. This is like the mass market chicken. Um, 1.5 kg, uh, about 9 ringgits, Malaysia. And roasted in about 35 minutes with only salt and a bit of oil. So no extra condiments. Um, came out really well. And home cook. Anytime you can make it yourself uh, with the Philips air fryer. 
out of 10, I would give this. I would give this a 7. Um, because there's no, no much flavouring, okay. Uh, but in terms of like the capability of the air fryer, I would give it a 9. Uh, but the chicken itself is 7 out of 10, right. Um, some people may uh, like this less cook. This is perfect for me. So if you like it less cook, uh, whole chicken, split it down and then use the auto menu for 27 minutes at 180 and then maybe add another 5 minutes 5 to 6 minutes of 200 degrees Celsius would be just perfect and then let it rest for 10 minutes after roasting it would be perfect alright so if you've got any questions or if there's any other recipes you want me to try uh, feel free to reply in the comments below alright and if you like this video um, don't forget to like this video as well as if you like please do subscribe helps me thanks a lot everyone see you in the next video with more cooking videos with the flips air fryer